Hey guys, <laughs> as soon as I got done with that crazy reading yesterday, which was kind of cool, it's nice to have something different for a change, right? So I appreciated that. But then right afterwards, they were like, okay, we've got another one. And I'm like, really? Really? Okay. So again, I have no idea what this is going to be like. Brace yourselves. <laughs> These rocks are fun. All right. Oh, well, we're going to start with this deck. Looks like. What do we need to know at this time, Spirit? The High Priestess. Listen to your intuition. Powerful psychic insights are coming through. Reflection and meditation that provides valuable information. Be at peace. They really want you to... Be in your power, be relaxed, clear your chakras. We had that in the daily guidance today. Um, I really, like, I woke up this morning and I felt like digging up this inner smile meditation that's like an hour long by Ming Tong Gu. That is just awesome. He, um, he was my, like, Qigong teacher. And I listened to that for like an hour and my body was just buzzing. And so... Every day you guys should be cleansing your field somehow, like a guided meditation or just a sitting quiet meditation, like twice a day when you wake up and when you go to bed. Um, there are, there's a lot of anxiety in the air and it's not even necessarily yours. So you should be paying attention um, and clearing out your energy and protecting yourself. And being that I was just playing with those rocks a minute ago, it might be an indicator that um, some crystals or some rocks could help you at this time. Do maybe a crystal grid for with your intentions, as long as they're loving and pure intentions. I suggest uh, my guided meditation. Uh, oh, it's called something like getting to the other shore. If you put in my name and you put in the word shore, it should come up. It's a really good, um, powerful meditation. The bottom of the deck is justice. Now, justice is also like purple. So that means spiritual, which we know that we're going through a spiritual battle right now. So they're saying fight for justice and equality. Rulings made in your favor. Don't give up. So, gosh, this is amazing. I just feel like um, for a lot of you who know the the things that are going on crimes against humanity that are that are going on in plain view and that people are in denial about are actually co going to come to justice and you are going to um have a favorable outcome so don't worry um underneath that determination and self control the chariot's all about going forward confidently as an individual like sovereignty Career advancement and acknowledgement of success by others. So you're going to get accolades, perhaps, for standing up for yourself and for being strong and being sovereign. You know, you're going to be recognized for being willing to put yourself out there for justice. You, you're going to do that by listening to your intuition. Whoa. <clears throat> Two of Michael. Um, it will all be better if you just make a decision <laughs> over analyzing a problem, find a compromise. Wow. <laughs> so if you've been, you know, if you've had a decision that you know is the right thing to do, listen to your intuition. This could also be becoming a single person. If you were in a relationship, it's being single and going forward, um, you know, figuring out a way to go forward boldly and courageously into what you feel is the right thing to do to balance out that situation. This is about balance. This is about balance. This is actually about balance as well. All of these are about balance. And then this is being too stuck in your head. So what I feel with this is they're encouraging you to get out of your head and then the balance will just come right in. And maybe going through and balancing out your chakras or clearing your energy um, it's going to be all that it takes to make you feel decisive, to make you feel like, okay, now I feel clear. Um, being too much in your head kind of clogs 
the pipe between you and your higher self. So you get confused and you don't know which way to go. So, ooh, I just felt my heart hurt when you said, when I said that, <laughs> when you said that. <laughs> <laughs> That's how like connected to spirit I am when I do this sometimes. <laughs> it's like somebody else doing it. <laughs> so um I'm feeling drawn to get one of these cards. So yeah, it's it's like if you you just gotta clear that, you gotta clear that pipe. Unclog the pipe by being in the moment, being present using God source energy. You could even do that meditation where I've talked about being like a tree. Let's use a, a picture of a tree. It's like wake up in the in the morning and stretch and spread your arms out and yawn. And imagine yourself being a tree, receiving all this sun from the sunshine, all this nourishment and joy and happiness. And then imagine like as you stretch your legs that you're going down deep into the earth and the roots are spreading down here. And the earth is like soaking up your negative energy with like a sponge. So it's kind of like a plunger going burp down your body and it's like being taken away. And when you when you feel lighter or you feel tingly or something like that, then you've succeeded. Let's look at that card that helped us. Magic. <laughs> Make a wish. Believe in miracles. Magic surrounds you guys. Thank you, magic card, for helping out. <laughs> and the fairies. Fairies and magic. It can be a magical time, you guys. Just, just have to believe. And you got to follow that voice. You really got to listen to your intuition and do the right thing and go forth boldly. Make that decision and be decisive and you will have magic happen. You'll have some miracles happen. Believe in miracles for in order for them to happen. You know, the, we, we get a lot of doubt sometimes. Like, is this for real? Are you sure? Um, so many things get in the way or even other people make you doubt. And they and it's just like, okay, you have your intuition versus what seems kind of logical. <clears throat> but I have seen so many times, time and again, that when you see and my voice is doing that again. <clears throat> so that means you need to talk to someone. You definitely need to talk to someone. You are protected at the bottom of the deck. I just looked. You and your loved ones in possessions are safe. They're protected by heaven. So if that's one of your concerns in going forward, making this decision, um, believe miracles can happen in this situation and you are protected. Okay, what else do the mermaids and dolphins have to say? See the little fairy? <laughs> Treasure chest. An unforeseen windfall of new abundance comes to you now. Wow. Wow. <laughs> A mad magic, a windfall, um, believing in miracles, justice happening, listening to your intuition to really make that happen. You have horses here. I just noticed unicorns, really. They're unicorns. They're magical horses. All right. You got to forgive yourself. Let go of guilt and remember that you're God's perfect child. We all have things that we feel bad about. Staying in that energy is completely useless. I don't know. It's like it just has the feeling of like being on a dance floor and the person of your dreams is smiling at you out there on the dance floor. And you're just like sitting there on the side sucking your thumb. <laughs> oh, I'm not worthy. Or I did this bad thing. Or I think I'm a bad person. Or, the, you know, they're never, maybe they're never going to forgive me. I can't forgive myself. What I've done is un blah, blah, blah. It's like, it's so dramatic, right? Um, and it may be dramatic. I'm not saying that it's not. You didn't cause anything. You, you don't deserve punishment. Let's just say that we're all innocent children of God. We are all innocent, beautiful, sweet beings. You need to love yourself that way enough to know you've done nothing wrong. And yesterday should have no hold on you because yesterday doesn't matter at all. The only thing that matters is this moment and what you do with it. It's time to forgive yourself and let go of any kind of guilt and just move forward doing the right thing, listening to your intuition and moving forward with the chariot there. You have a windfall coming. You have miracles coming. If you just listen to that intuition instead of your head. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. Your intuition.
intuition is correct. Take action accordingly. Can you guys even believe that just happened? They were just affirming what I said and they're like, yeah, your intuition's correct. Like jump on it. You need to do something like now. You need to do something now. Okay. <laughs> it's craziness. Okay. The romance gods. What was on the bottom? Yes, this is your soulmate. <laughs> oh my gosh. They have such a great sense of humor. <laughs> Whoever this is, it's time to take action. And you know who this is. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys are so cute. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. So whatever it is, it's even making you feel like an unworthy person, you know? It, it, whether it be addiction or bad people or karmics or just negativity or depression. I mean, it doesn't even matter. Whatever that is, like, let go of that. Let go of that and just follow your intuition. The universe is trying to free you up for some incredible miracles to happen. But it can't work against you. You have free will. So you can keep yourself in that cage if you want to, but you're going to miss an incredible opportunity to have this windfall happen and have some incredible magic happen in your life. The fairies are even trying to help you. If you've been asking the fairies to help, here it is. Plain as day. Plain as day. And it's like glowing right in your face. So it's time to take action. Express your love. Thank you, universe, for this beautiful message. Oh, my gosh. No wonder they were urging me to do this. Because remember I said in that last part, I said, this is such a crazy message. And it, a lot of it had to do with, like, what's going on right now. But I was like, wow, this is interesting. And then they were like, no, no, there's another one. Probably because, and it was probably back to back, because I was saying that reading. I thought this was going to be a love reading. Here it is. Yes. Express your love. Yes. Express your love. Yes, your intuition is correct. Take, take action. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. You guys, look, look. I mean, there's like this many cards in every deck. <laughs> and there's like one, two, three, four, five decks here. Five big decks and all these little decks too. <laughs> and these are the cards they want you guys to see today. I'm in awe right now. <laughs> I'm just in awe. <laughs> Flirt at the bottom. Make that move and flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. That's funny because if you guys saw on my Instagram this morning, I woke up feeling that kind of flirty energy. Like, be playful. Have a sense of humor. Lighten up. Um, be open. Open your heart. Open your mind. Sometimes when I feel really bad about something, it just feels good to just laugh and just be like, oh my gosh. You know, and I can't tell you how many times... I have been like in total anguish in my life in the worst of moments. And I feel like all of my crew, if you will, my divine guidance council cracking up. And it's in those moments that I realize it's all an illusion. They're watching this hilarious Truman show thing and you're like flailing around and it's just like, you're completely supported in this bubble. It may be a bubble. Maybe you're realizing it's a bubble, but you're protected and you're safe within it. There's nothing actually scary ever really going on. It's like you're the angels and the fairies and everybody's like totally got your back. No matter what they said, no matter what. I mean, there's crazy things that can happen. Like we can just energetically just boom, just be gone from here. I know this is such a stretch for some of you who really think in time, terms of like 3D reality being so real. But I know Qigong masters who can walk right through walls. I've heard so many incredible stories about we are all just energy. And so it's like believe that it's all energy and know that anything is possible. You could walk through walls. You could vanish from one room. You could be sitting in the room that you're in right now. And boom, it's like something shifts or something happens and you're out of here. And you find yourself in a whole other world. I've talked about this dream before, but it's just so freaking interesting that it's just like it's worth repeating over and over. I was at some kind of a party or a gathering or something, and somebody asked me to go get something from the pantry, and it wasn't even my house or anything. So I was like, sure, I'll go get it, like a can of tomatoes or chili or something. 
I went to go to the pantry and it was like lying in the witch in the wardrobe. But the minute I walked into the pantry, I wasn't there anymore. I was in this garden of Eden. It was like this beautiful meadow. And I just, I turned around and looked behind me and there was no door. Wherever I was, there was no going back. But it was so beautiful and it was heaven. So that can happen for you guys. Express those romantic feelings. You guys both feel the same way for each other. These feelings are wor they're real and worth exploring. So quit doubting yourself. Quit imprisoning yourself with your own mind and the little devil on your shoulder, which I refer to a lot lately, because you're really having to listen to, to your intuition as to, am I listening to the angel or am I listening to the devil? You know? The, um, the collective reading this week even talks about that confusion. Everything being kind of upside down, like your world may be t turned upside down right now in terms of, so you're like really doubtful because it's like, oh my gosh, I thought my reality was this and it's totally different. Um, but let that, let that sit with you gently, like just be kind and loving with yourself, but you need to acknowledge that you have romantic per, uh, feelings for this person. They need to know it. You need to get confirmation of it. And it says your, their, your feelings are real and worth exploring. What is exploring? Well, finding that out, being like, do you like me? I think you like me. I feel like you like me. I hope you like me. But until you actually have that conversation and be a little vulnerable, you're not going to, you're not going to, you're never going to know. And you don't want to go the rest of your life or even years from now when this is an incredible opportune time. We have our world being turned upside down right now. There's nothing better than to have true love come together at this time and be like a source, a force, maybe a source too, a source for you guys' happiness, a source to bring you some bliss. A source to help you come out of the depths of, of despair and depression and loneliness. You know, this person can lift you up out of that. You guys could lift each other up out of that magically by just expressing your love. So stay optimistic about your love life. Don't be pessimistic about your love life. Stay optimistic. Positive thinking and faith will bring you this romance. So... Not negative thinking, not worrying, not staying in your head, not mulling it over and over and over, but having faith and in a, having faith in yourself that, you know, this is a fresh, clean slate. I can make it whatever I want. I am the artist. I can create whatever I want to with this. If I think positively, I can make this happen. As long as you, that is your most valuable tool. So stay present in the moment and to believe in yourself and to be and to be positive minded. Anything that you're looking at, it doesn't even matter the subject. You can see the advantages or benefits in everything, everything. And when you make that shift, you actually become empowered to do something about it. Okay. Let me just ask if there are any other cards. Okay. Now they're saying that we need a unicorn card. As if we need more unicorn energy to spend a lot today. All right receive you guys be open to receiving goodness in your life maybe a lot of you have just been so used to the darkness that feels normal for you and you're not sure what it'll be like to be with someone pure-hearted like you but admit to yourself you're pure-hearted too down deep you're a total sweetheart with a with a glowing heart and you can get back to that energy and play like a little kid with this person and get back to feeling like innocent, like a kid again. You can go back to that innocence. You can, no matter what you've learned. You can stay, choose to stay in the moment and out of your mind and be fresh and new and be ready to receive goodness. You deserve it. You've been through hell and back. So be open to receiving goodness. Believe you are worthy Forgive yourself, like that other card was saying. A gift is coming to you now. A gift is coming to you soon. See, but I said now. So, <laughs> wow. Okay. So now I think we need a couple more to make that. Make it complete. Support. If you need to, ask for help. Get more, get more rest. Nurture yourself. Remember I said be gentle. You've been through a lot right now. 
So maybe that's what's going to help you feel clear headed about going forward as you finally just take a rest. You allow yourself to pull back away from everybody and everything. <clears throat> there it is again. Maybe you need to <clears throat> talk to somebody that you end up getting support from, you know, somebody that you know that loves you unconditionally, who you know would give you really good advice. <laughs> <clears throat> Ask for help from the angels as well. Ask for really clear guidance and support and help. Ask for any obstacles to be removed and nurture yourself. Be really good and kind to yourself. They said nurture yourself back to health for some of you. And be discerning. All is not what it seems. Stay true to your knowing and keep your dreams a secret. Wow. Repeat message from today's daily. Holy crap. For some reason, you're going to need to keep this a secret, you guys. You better, you better heed that advice or you could pay a lesson. It's like you can't, don't be so insecure that you need other people's approval. Just make the decision on your own to go fly, to be good to yourself and go fly and after your dreams because you're obviously going to be tremendously blessed for doing so. And anything is possible, like a possibility. Raise your standards. Get up out of the gutter. Get up out of all the fear and all that indecisiveness and spinning out in your head and jump on that Pegasus and fly over to your person. Raise your standards. Elevate your expectations. You have unlimited potential if you just believe in yourself. And you get in a space of being receptive, meaning you're in the moment and you're out of your head and you're just in... You know, that um, state where you're one with God, just relax, just kick him back. That's all it takes, really. Be gentle with yourself, kick back, and then you'll know. And don't trust anybody. Don't trust anybody. Keep it a secret. Anything is possible. Unlimited possibilities with this person. All right, now I feel, oh, look at that. Bottom of it is compassion. Be gentle with yourself. Quit beating yourself up. Forgiveness will set you free. What good is it doing you to stay stuck beating yourself up? It's not. It's letting the devil win. Do you want do you want justice or do you not? If you want justice, you better start loving yourself. You know? Seriously, and have compassion for your divine feminine who's just sitting there waiting like this, being patient. Doing her best to love herself as well. Both of you are nurturing that love for yourselves inside. See the light in yourself and others. <laughs> you know, just gentle. Everything should be gentle right now. Gentle and nourishing. And then just do it. And, you know, make those decisions you need to make. <clears throat> and quit second-guessing yourself, they said. Oh, this is your soulmate. <laughs> Again, <laughs> joyful times are ahead if you just make the decision. Joyful times after a time of resting. Get ready to receive, you guys. This is old friend, good memories. That's the six of cups. That means somebody that you've had past lives with, and that's why you feel so comfortable with them. You may not even feel like you know them very well, or maybe not even at all. But man... You know, you still have those good, good old memories and all of that from those past lives that are just holding you to this person. You can't stop thinking about them. The Six of Cups is about constantly thinking about that person as well. Get past these financial matters or take care of the financial matters, whichever it is. Get past it. Um... There, there, a thought popped in my head the other day. I think it might have been a reader who mentioned something, but she said something like, somebody feels like, like you and you might have invested in someone, like maybe you're a karmic, and that never really paid off, so you're like waiting for that to pay off. Let that money go. Get rid of that person because, it, you know, it's better to not have gained anything from it than to, you know, and you may have invested a bunch in it, but dude, just, you know, admit that you were scammed. You were scammed and let it go. It'll take your lumps. When I went through my last divorce, I could have had a lot of money 
And um, I just said to myself, you know, I can make it all again. I can get it all again. And I really don't need him and I don't want that blood money. I started calling it blood money because it had his energy all over it. And I didn't want it if it came from him. So I let it go. And it has been coming back to me through the years since I made that decision. Don't let financial matters get in the way. For some of you who feel like you don't, maybe you've lost your job and now you feel like too embarrassed to come to your feminine. That could be the case as well. Don't like you got to get past that because your feminine loves you unconditionally. They don't even care if you have money. I don't care what kind of financial hit you take. All she wants is to hold you in her arms. There's new opportunity here to, to make up for that money. You're going to get that back and then some. So just listen to your intuition, you guys. Just listen to that intuition and act. Get past those loss issues. Get past losing that money. Get past it. And get past the loss of like having invested in something that didn't work. Get past the fear of losing the person that you love. The other day, another thing had come to me that some of them, some masculines were afraid like that, that once they get with their divine feminine, then they're afraid to lose her. You're not going to lose her because we were assured that we're protected here in these cards. You're not going to lose her. Prepare for change, you guys. Get ready because you're about to make that decision. And it's going to be a powerful one. It's going to be a life-changing one. You're going to have achievement and success. So don't you worry about any of those financial matters or any matters for that me for that matter. <laughs> you know? Just do what your heart is calling you to. Listen to your intuition. Be gentle with yourself. Stay in that present moment and meditate so that you can stay calm and quiet. Because that's when you're going to hear that voice speak very clearly to you. It may be quiet, but it'll be clear. And that's when you know to take action. I just feel also like um, the parable of Jesus talking about, if you're going to follow me, you have to leave everything behind. Following him is representative of following love because he represents unconditional love. When you are prompted to do what God's will in a way, you know, I think in, in more universal terms, but I'm just using it for this analogy because we're talking about Jesus, but the kingdom of God is within you, right? And the kingdom of God is enlightenment. Enlightenment is staying in the moment and dropping all facades dropping all space and time, anything of the past, any worries of the future. And it's just staying right here, right now. And that's where you hear God's voice speak to you clearly. Okay. Anything else, you guys? Get past these limitations. Why should they get past the limitations? Because you're going to have achievement and good fortune. See? <laughs> Forget those loss issues. Look at that. We're going to put that right over that. You're going to have achievement and good fortune. So don't worry. Quit worrying. Just quit worrying and go for it. I feel like the mermaids and dolphins want to have a last say here. Ooh, maybe you need to do some mother healing. As your feelings toward your mother heal, your, you, uh, your desires manifest more rapidly and accurately. What's funny is I saw the fa father healing last night for some of the masculines. So being that you got the father yesterday and the mother today, <clears throat> I feel like you guys aren't needing parents anymore is what I'm feeling. You guys don't need parents. Oops. You need friendship. You need a play date with the person that you feel like a little kid with. That's what you need. You don't need these parents anymore. You don't need their advice. You don't need their guidance. You don't need their, their okay. <clears throat> Just speak your mind. See my voice. Speak your mind. Speak up to this person that you love and don't need anybody else's approval or okay on it. And everything will be all right. You're protected. You're protected again comes out. <laughs> you, your loved ones, including those family members, possessions, everything. They're all safe and protected by heaven. Without anyone else, not the government, telling you you're going to be safe if you do what they say. You don't need to listen to them either. They're not your parents either. <clears throat> the 
some of the biggest leaders in government are are deep, dark, scary people who are narcissists, psychopaths, and sociopaths. You need to listen to that. You need to heal the inner child in you and rely on your intuition solely to tell you what's okay for you. Because you are protected and that is your, your biggest protection. Just do some heart healing. You're a powerful healer, so keep up the great work. Put your hand on your heart and say, I love you. It'll help you get in that receptive state to be able to welcome in this love and have compassion for yourself. Be gentle with yourself. And to open, expand your heart open to being able to let this new love in and think that anything could be possible, you know? All right, this is it. <clears throat> it's contemplation time. Spend time alone meditating on what you truly desire. Admit the truth to yourself. Admit that you love this person. Admit you want to go in that direction. Decide you're going to go away from things that are no longer healthy for you, including your thoughts, some thoughts. Realize that anything is possible. Get around any kind of obstacles. Use your discernment. Don't tell anyone. And just follow, follow that truth. Follow your heart. Take action. Watch the... Oh, look at the sticking out. Take action and watch this video again if you need to. Oh, there's another reminder of the heart healing. Love yourself enough to make the right choice. You deserve a bright future. If you stay with the way that you're going, you're going to manifest just the exact same thing as you've been getting. Use morning affirmations. Use affirmations throughout the day. Say positive affirmations all the time. I am so completely loved and supported in all ways and always. Everything always works out so incredibly for me. Really believe it. Really feel it. Because you have a blessed change coming. A major life change brings you great blessings. But change can't happen unless you actually take action. It's time to take action. If you need to, <laughs> use music to manifest this. Listen to some music to uplift your spirit and to feel better about things and to get up courage. Listening, listen to Rocky. <laughs> Dun 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 like whatever you gotta do. But watch your thoughts. Watch those thoughts. It's important to only think about what you desire, not what you fear. Not what you fear. This has been a message from spirit. This is not was not a message from me, although I was a conduit for it. Realize the importance and the weight of this. Hundreds of cards. And this was the message that came through. And you know this all resonated. So what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Take action, guys. All right. Have yourselves a beautiful day. Hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. That was pretty cool. <laughs> all right. Bye, guys. Hey, if you like my videos, please share, subscribe, and set your bell notifications on so you'll know the moment they come out. Also, don't forget that you can go to my website and order a personal reading at amysatori.com forward slash services. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful day.